everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be updating my Pandas Eyeshadow Palettes project. So this is a hybrid project between um, the Pandas Eyeshadows project and Pan That Palette, um, where I'm basically working through three palettes um, in a similar random selection style um, for a quintet of shades, uh, like in Pandas Eyeshadows. So if you haven't seen any of these videos, I will have the playlist link down below, and if you're all caught up and ready to go, we'll just go ahead and get into this. So the three palettes I am working on are my Lorac Pro Matte, my Lorac Pro 2, and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam palettes. Um, I'm working to empty the Lorac palettes and just hit pan in every shade in the ABH palette. So um, I always go in the same order. Um, talking about the palettes, I like to try to keep it as organized and streamlined for you guys as possible so you know what to expect. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and get going. So the first palette is my Lorac Pro Matte Palette, and here is what the palette was looking like last month. And here is what it's looking like now. Now I had a lot of big goals for last month, um, and I didn't quite hit them, but that's okay. I I set, I kind of set the goals knowing they were a little bit too uh, extravagant, but I'm still really happy with my progress. So the shade in my quintet right now is the shade Chocolate, and as you can see from the pictures, I have worked pretty much more than half of this product out of here. I've been mostly using it through my brows, so I'm just using a small little angled brush um, to get product, which means that I don't have um, a ton of product usage at a time. Um, but I, I feel like for the fact that I'm not using a ton of product at a time, I am moving through this relatively quickly. Um, so I'm using it pretty much every single day. Sometimes I do use it on the eye, sometimes I just most of the time I just use it in my brows. Um, but I did use this shade 32 times last month. Um, that puts me at a total of 87 uses. I, I don't know how much longer it's gonna take me to use up. Sometimes it feels like forever, but then I look at my progress and I do feel like I've made some really good progress on it. So I don't know, I've got half this palette finished up now. Um, I was kind of hoping to get a little farther on it than I did this month. I really wanted to have chocolate used up, but again, I'm okay with that. And we're just going to continue to get some more use on it. Hopefully, I think it would be really, really nice to get it used up next month. But again, I don't really know that that's going to be possible with the other shades in my quintet. Um, so that's the update on that shade. However, I'll go ahead and talk about the rest of the palette real fast. I don't believe I've touched any of these other shades this last month. And I have used this shade 72 times. I used Corduroy eight times and I haven't touched Burgundy yet, um, but I do wanna get to that. However, I made a decision last month um, about this palette because the formula has changed a lot and I have noticed that the shades just don't work as well as they used to. Um, I was using Jet Black as a little bit of a liner um, to like smooth out my gel liner and I just noticed that I got a ton of fallout with it and that's kind of why I stopped using it is because like halfway through the day I would just have like dots of black underneath my eyes and that was getting really really frustrating and I was like there's no reason for me to use that um, when it's just getting really irritating. So. I've decided that I'm actually going to declutter this shade. That is something that I kind of decided I was going to do throughout this project because I really want to use it to work through all my eyeshadow palettes, but I don't want to force myself to use shades that I don't enjoy using or that I'm just like, you know, I don't want that shade in my collection. I don't care to have that shade. So this shade is going to be decluttered. So by that, I mean, I am literally going to just scratch this out of here as of now. Since I've already shown you this as my update for this update, um, that's going to be part of next month's update essentially is I've decluttered this. All right, so there you have it. It's gone and out of here. Um, no, I didn't use up the whole thing, but I was thinking about it and since it's been performing so poorly, I was like, you know, I have a black in the Soft Glam palette. I have a black in the Lorac Pro 2 palette. I have, I think I have like, two or three other blacks in my collection. So I don't need this one um, and it wasn't performing well at all. So there's no reason to keep it um, when I'm not gonna be enjoying 
using it. Um, so that shade's gone now. We're gonna consider that just decluttered. Um, it's a little bit sad to declutter it, but I feel like it's the right choice because I don't wanna force myself to use something that I don't love. I'm gonna try not to do that too regularly because I don't wanna just toss shades just because I don't like them, like just because they're not my favorite. Um, but it, with cases where it's like, you know, I just don't enjoy using it, I don't like wearing it, it doesn't add to my collection, I think it's an appropriate way to move through eyeshadow palettes when, especially when you're using so many of the other shades within the palette. Um, and especially when they're expired like this. I did have some people ask me um, why I would keep using it even though it's expired, but my big thing with that is just like, with powders, I feel like though they might not perform the same way, I'm not too concerned about them causing any kind of like issues with my skin or anything like that. Um, and if they start to show any signs of like, oh, this is just not working well with my skin or whatever, I'll stop using it at that point. But if I see anything like that, I'll stop using it. I don't have any problems trying to work through these though. Um, if I get through this and then to these two and I find that these are having so many problems, then I'll stop using them as well. But for now, I'm gonna try to use these three shades up. Um, I don't know if I'll get to either of these next month, but I, I really hope to finish that one up next month. Uh, We'll see, I'm, I might be able to do that. So that's my update for that palette. Um, moving on to the Pro 2 palette. Here is what it was looking like last month. And here is what it's looking like now. So I have two shades in my quintet from this palette. Um, that's Cool Gray and Charcoal. So we'll start with Cool Gray. This has been in since February. So this has been in for a really long time. And honestly, it's going way slower than I anticipated it would. Um, I am using this in conjunction with um, chocolate for in my brows. So I'm not using a lot at a time. I have used it a few different times as a crease shade or on the lid or just anywhere on the eye. Um, but I don't find that it's something that I wanna wear all the time. So I don't wear it frequently, um, not that way, uh, which is why I still have a little bit of the product still right here. I really wanted to clean that area out. I think I actually wanted to get like this half of the pan empty um, this last month, which again, I had some really ambitious goals and I didn't hit most of them, um, but you know, it is what it is. I, I, yeah, I don't mind the shade. It's just, I'm getting a little tired of it. Um, I have used it. I used it 30 times last month, again, pretty much mostly in my brows, um, but that puts me at a total of 110 uses on this shade. So for me, <laughs> I'm just getting really tired of having it in the quintet, um, but I made myself promise not to switch out a shade until I hit goal on it because I gotta, I gotta use it up at some point. Like part of the goal of this is to completely empty this palette. So if I don't just keep using the shades, then I'm not gonna hit the goal. That being said, I kind of have this thought in my mind that if this one is still in at the end of July, at the six month mark, maybe I will just say clearly I don't like it that much. I can declutter it um, because yeah, it's just kind of getting to a point where I'm like, I don't even wanna touch it even for my brows. I am but I'm getting frustrated by it. <laughs> so I feel like that's a pretty good sign of, okay, I should maybe move on. Um, but I do wanna try to get as much use on it as I can. I think I can use it up if I just start being a little bit more diligent about it. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do that, but um, that's kind of where I'm at with that. I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm a little sad with all my progress on this palette because I wanted to see a little bit more um, this last month, but it's okay. I, I, again, I've been choosing to focus on my soft glam palette, and while that's really cool that I've been, I've been hitting a lot of pan in that palette. Um, it's, it's meant that I haven't been getting as much use on my like cool toned looks. Um, so <laughs> this palette has been lagging behind a little bit, but. I'm hoping to have that change here this next month. Um, so Cool Gray 
is still still going. Um, and charcoal, I, I had wanted to hit side pan, um, but I actually only used this one nine times this last month as well. Um, I used it nine times the previous month and I used it nine times this last month. So that's a total of 18 uses um, in this project. And I, I think you can see a little bit of progress um, from last month. It's nothing too big, um, but it is, it is a little bit of progress. For nine uses, it's like, oh, okay, well, I can see something happening there. Um, I, that's another one where I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like this one where I'm like, at a certain point, I might just declutter this one, um, because I don't love using this shade. Um, I'm going to give it some more time, give it some more work, um, see kind of how, like, see if I can come up with some good ways to use it that I enjoy using. I can create one look with these two that I really like, but I don't want to wear very often. Um, so I don't really feel like I need them because I do have other shades like them in my collection. Um, and since this palette is my oldest palette, um, the formula is going off slowly. So yeah, I'm not, I'm, I, I really want to use all these shades completely because I, I just, I'm an ambitious person and I really like the idea of fully using up an eyeshadow palette, but I think I might be a little bit wishful in that with how like old this palette is because the formula is just not great. And especially these shades left up here, they're my least favorite shades in the palette. And that's uh, a lot of, a lot of shades to use. Um, I actually am really enjoying using these though. They are doing really great. Um, so I'll go ahead and talk about the rest of my usage on this palette. I don't believe I used Rosé this last month at all, but I do have a total of 43 uses on it. Um, Mocha, I did use a lot. So I've actually got that on my lids today. This is one of my favorite looks that I did um, this last month. And it's actually one of the ones I did the most this last month. Um, but I used Mocha several times. I think it was like I think I had used it like four times prior to this month and now I'm at 11 uses. Um, so I think that's pretty good. I think you can see some good movement on it. Um, and yeah, that, so that's really exciting. I don't believe I used Chrome at all this last month, um, but I've got a total of 13 uses on it. Silver, I have a total of nine uses. Um, and I, again, I don't think I used that this last month. I might've used it once or twice. Um, but then I used Jade twice this last month and Coco twice this last month, which th that's the first times I've dipped into those since the project began. Um, and I'm really happy with um, the fact that I actually touched them. I think you can see a difference in Coco, probably just barely, um, but you can't really see much about Jade. Jade kind of looks the same. Yeah, I was, I was happy to dip into those though because it reminded me that they're actually really pretty shades and it gave me some different ways I can use them for later when they get rolled into this project. Um, if they get rolled into this project, because I may just use them up as as I go. We'll see. Um, I do, I, I keep needing to remind myself, I still have seven months for this project. Um, I keep being like, man, I don't know if I'm gonna make it through. But with the fact that I've got rose, cool gray, chrome, mocha, and silver, all they're all pretty low. That's four more shades that are, I honestly think if I, if I just went, went hard on them and just tried as hard as I could, I could possibly use all of those up within like a couple of months if I just used those shades exclusively. So I really don't think they're going to take too much longer to get used up. Um, and so that kind of gives me some hope that maybe I can actually get through this palette by the end of the year. I was, when I started the project, I was like, yeah, I think I can do it. And then as I've been getting into it, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can do it, but I'm starting to think that there's a chance that I can, I just need to keep, keep my focus on it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at with this. I, I want to give this a little bit more love this next month. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to go about that with, um, with the other shades in my quintet, but we'll, we'll find out. We'll see, um, because I am I am really wanting to get my soft glam palette um, to a good place, but we are 
we're, we're working towards it. In fact, let's just go ahead and discuss the Soft Glam palette. So here's what Soft Glam was looking like last month. And here's what it's looking like now. Um, so you can see a couple, of, a couple of interesting things. So I did hit pan on Fairy, but I didn't hit pan on Rustic. So this is the first month in this project that I only hit one of my goals. Um, and it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. We'll talk about it. So, okay, Fairy, I used a total of 17 times last month. Um, however, I had already used it a decent amount, so it was a total of 24 uses in the project. Um, at the 23rd use is when I hit pan, and then I used it once more, and that's uh, and I just expanded the pan. So that's where we're at now with it. I really liked the shade. It looked really pretty. Um, it, yeah, it performed really well. Very good. Honestly, this is, is I like this palette a lot. It's really easy to use for me, obviously. <laughs> I've hit pan in pretty much all the shades now. Um, we just got these two. We got those two to go. So Rustic, Rustic is the interesting one here. I used Rustic 28 times and I had already had some use on it. So that's a total of 34 uses. I don't know how I haven't hit pan. I really don't know. I think genuinely, I think I'm like one day away, which is kind of frustrating to me because I'm like, Come on, couldn't it have been today? Um, but that's all right. I, I'm i just, I gotta do my video, I gotta do my update. So no pan on Rustic, um, but that's just kind of where we're at. Um, I, I still think really good progress on it. I'm really surprised I don't have pan on it, um, but I will definitely hit pan on it next month. Um, it is what I have in my crease today, I just have Rustic in the crease on underneath the eye. And then I have the mocha shade from my Lorac Pro 2 palette um, on the lid um, with a little bit of my highlighter um, in just in the center, the very, very center. So um, yeah, I I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I didn't hit pan on it. Um, but, cause I've been doing this look a lot. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how I didn't hit pan. Um, I don't think, I don't remember using any of the other shades this last month. I was pretty, um, I, I was pretty well focused on using some of the shimmers in here um, rather than dipping into these other shimmers. And yeah, I, I feel like I stuck pretty well to this. I might have used burnt orange a couple of times. Um, I'm not going to run through the numbers on all the palette because it's just that would take a long time, and I want to keep this short for you guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's where. That's where we're at with that. Um, I think this is this is my struggle. I really wanted to finish chocolate. I really wanted to finish chocolate because it and Cypress Umber are so similar. But since I didn't, I still want to get my use on this palette. I, st I still I still want to try to hit pan on it. I don't know how I'm going to go about it though, um, because I really feel like. I really feel like I want to stick to working on chocolate. So if I'm going to use a brown shade on my lid, I want to use chocolate. But this shade, I don't want to switch to using in my brows because I'm like, well, I want to use chocolate up. So I don't know. I'm trying to decide. Do I go ahead and roll Cypress Umber in? Okay, so I'm kind of in a hard spot now because I'm really wanting to focus on chocolate, but I also really want to try to get this done this next month. I feel like I can. So this is going on the back burner. I'm going to use it in my brows every single day, but it is going to go in the back burner. So I'm going to swatch this. Yeah, I'm going to swatch my quintet and I'm just going to, we'll discuss. Okay. So here is the quintet for this next month. Um, <sighs> Yeah, so it's a little bit frustrating because these two are so similar. Um, so chocolate, cool gray, charcoal, rustic, and cypress umber. Um, obviously this one is much more of like a red warm undertone than um, chocolate, which I find pools more neutral. 
um, which is, it's fine. These two work well for me, um, for my brows. Uh, they kind of create like a taupey brown and that works really well for me. Um, I will probably try to use this on the lid as much as possible. I think I'm gonna hit pan on this one, honestly, within a couple of days. I kind of want to just roll something else in from the cool, the the Pro 2 palette um, to replace it, but I don't think I'm going to just because. No, you know what? I am going to. I I want to roll another shade in from the Pro 2 palette because I really think this is going to just take me a couple of days. In which case, it feels a little bit silly not to have another shade rolled in. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that because this one will be done in just a couple of days and then I can go ahead and work on another shade within the Pro 2 palette alongside these two um, because pretty much everything else left in the palette will work really well with these. So, and it, even if it doesn't, it would work really well with this one. So I think I want to go ahead and roll in another shade and get going on that. So we will have six shades this month but I think I'm just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. So I have plum, navy, rose, mocha, chrome, silver, jade, and cocoa that I can roll in. I don't roll in the black um, or like cream shades or anything like that because I know I'm gonna be using them um, individually and they're not as fun to watch the progress on. So I just kind of, I'll, I'll use it as I use it, which I will probably try using this a little bit this next month. Um, like I was using the Pro Matte Black shade um, and see how that one does. If I get a lot of fallout from it, I might declutter it as well. Um, because like I said, I have my Soft Glam Black. So if I wanna use a black shade, then I'll just use that one if this doesn't work out. Um, so, so they are numbered three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 on my spreadsheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that into my generator. All right, and we are going to generate a random number number five, which is rosé. Uh, so that one actually should be a reasonably decent shade to try to finish up. Okay, my apologies for having it all the way down here in kind of a terrible swatch area, but that's kind of what I've got. <laughs> um, actually, I think it'll work really, really well with Cypress Umber and Rustic for the few days that I have Rustic. Um, but it, and I mean, I don't know, I can use it with um, Cool Gray and ch Chocolate as well. Those will that it'll work really well with those. I mean, it probably would even work with uh, charcoal. I don't know. I haven't tried that. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Um, and yeah, so I, I'm glad to have that in there because I think it'll kind of balance all of it out and it'll give me, especially since I don't have any other shimmers in here, it'll give me a shimmer to work for and to focus on. Um, so I'm happy with having that. I'm glad to have a third, like, shade from the Pro 2 palette because it makes me feel like I am going to be giving it more love and more use and be moving through it a little bit more quickly. So this next month I will be focusing on Rosé as well um, and yeah so I'm kind of excited. It's not just a quintet this month but it will be back to quintet next month um, that I can tell you for sure. But yeah we will we'll work on these shades. Uh, as far as goals go I'm going to try to back off my crazy ambitious side for a moment. I want to use another half of this up. I don't think I'm going to get it done. I just want to use half of this up. If I can use the whole thing up, cool. My goal is to use like one corner up this next month. Um, for cool gray, same thing, I think. I want to use a corner up. Um, now I will specify that does not mean this corner. That means like the entire corner up here or over here, um, whichever one seems to be working the best. I don't, I, I wanna I want to see some really good progress on it. I wanna use it way more times. Um, I wanna use it, I wanna try to use it on the lid at least half the time. Um, just because I, I haven't been giving it that attention and I feel like if I just do it, then I will see progress on it quickly. So I want to try to do that. Um, charcoal, I think I want to stick with the like nine use mark, nine, 10 uses, um, just to keep using it and keep getting use on it. I'm not too concerned about moving through it quickly because it's not one of those shades that I feel comfortable wearing every single day. So I'm fine with moving a little more slowly on it. 
Um, then with rustic, again, I think that's gonna take me like a day or two more and then I'll hit pan. And so it's a little frustrating to even have it in the quintet, but that's okay. Um, Cypress Umber, I really do wanna try to hit pan on it. Um, that way I would have the whole palette panned, which would be a goal complete. Um, and that would be really exciting. Um, so I would like to try to hit pan on it next month. I'm gonna try to use it in as many ways as I can. Um, and then for Rosé, honestly, there's a chance I could get it used up. If I use it pretty much every single day, I could use it up. I'm not gonna have that be my goal. That would be like an ultimate goal. Um, but I think my goal for next month is just to, um, I think it'll just be to empty out this corner as well as maybe this corner. Um, so kind of just leave it like that. Or maybe I'll just go straight up and down. Maybe I'll just try to empty out that side um, of the palette, uh, of the shade. Yeah, I think I could do that. I think I can hit empty this side of the shade. If I get the rest of it used up, cool. If not, that's okay with me. Otherwise, I just wanna keep distributing my usage throughout the palettes. Um, and I, I'm pretty okay with not dipping into the, I think I'm okay not dipping into Corduroy or Burgundy in the Pro Matte palette for now, just because I'd like to focus more on the Pro 2 palette. Um, and, and then soft glam for the time being. Um, but yeah, this this update was a little less exciting for me than some of my other ones, um, just because I didn't have as much visual progress as I was anticipating. Um, but I'm still really happy with where I'm at with it. I'm only halfway through the year, so that's really exciting. And, um, and I think that I will have soft glam finished up, in which case I'll have a little something special to share with you next month, a fun update and announcement. Um, and then I will just keep working towards uh, my goals for the Lorac palettes. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I, I feel like I was kind of all over the place, um, but I, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that everything was clear and the numbers were clear and everything. Um, thank you so much for your suggestions that you've been giving me on different ways to use it. I do have my looks and my palette progress updates um, at the end of this video. So if you'd like to see those, feel free to stick around. I didn't take as many pictures of my looks this last month. Um, we, I don't know why, I think I just was using the same look over and over again. Um, so I don't have as many of those in this month, but um, I do appreciate your time and I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.